Hi guys, this is Lee with the Market Sense for the week of October 27th, 2020. The charts in this presentation are provided to us by Genesis from their Trade Navigator software. And our weekly bond market chart, you know, they had that little breakdown as we discussed last week and we didn't think it would go anyplace. And you can see it kind of turned into an exhaustion bar and they've turned it right back around this week. They should have held about 173 here if they were going to trend down hard. And again, we knew that was unlikely and they've broken back above there and they're up in the 174.05 area. Uh, I don't know that there's a reason they can't get up here to the 175.21 area or so. Uh, they don't have to, but they could. Uh, sideways is the order of the day, uh, week, month, year. Uh, certainly in Till the election, which is coming right up, by the way. By the time we speak next week, will be election night. Um, I, I just don't see anything to get excited about. I don't know that uh, that bonds can really do anything. At some point, they're going to break down out of this sideways, and I'm even predicting the direction. I believe it will be down. I just don't know when, except I don't think it's anytime soon. So, for now, you know, it's sideways and there's not a whole lot we can do with them, I'm afraid. Uh, stocks, and in this case the S&P 500, is rather interesting here. The support right down here in the 3388 area, that is, looks pretty solid this week. I mean, that should hold them, and it doesn't appear to be. Now, I, I'm not predicting the future. I don't want to pretend like I can, but what I'd really like to see is I'd like to see them just continue. Just make this a nice big down bar closing on the low. If they want to go down here to the uh, 3290 area where the mid Keltner is, that is so much the better. That would be a bit good signal. But I'd really like to see them go down, close on the low, and set up an exhaustion bar because there is a tendency for the stock market to go down into an election and then come up out of it. And that's irrespective of who wins. That's just how they, I think maybe they're just glad that all of the politicking is over with and they have a little relief rally kind of. So uh, I can see that possibility, the way they're acting here. Um, the, the 4350 area could have possibly been support if they were going to trend up strong and instead they gapped open below it and they're using it as resistance. All of that looks like this should continue to be a rather weak week. How you like that? Um, but I'm not sure that means anything until we get to next Tuesday's election. So a nice, nice down, strong down this week. I'd be real interested in seeing if that can rally back next week. I, I think that's a distinct possibility. Of course, if they don't do that, then, you know, I'm shrugging my shoulders like everybody else. Uh, the QQQ representing the NASDAQ does not look as weak as the S&P does at this point, and that's fine. They don't have to go together, but I think they will. I think if the S&P continues to weaken, I think the NASDAQ and the QQQs here will weaken as well. Um, their support level is, well, it's kind of either side of 280. We've got, we've got a little bit above and a little bit below 280 right in here as support. And they are holding it as of Tuesday's close. I, I, I just kind of don't expect they will. I, I'm kind of expecting we're going to see weakness leading into the election. But again, probably strength coming out of it. And so very similar to the S&P, it would be really nice to see this just kind of break down strong, have a nice down bar closing right near the low. And maybe set up something we can buy early next week. Um, but, you know, I don't have a crystal ball. don't know if they'll do that. At this point, they're holding that support. I just kind of don't really think they're going to continue to. By the way, this Keltner channel, the mid-Keltner, is down in the mid-266 area. It's 266, 34, 35, something like that. Uh, that'd be a nice area for it to come down and make the low for the week there. That would, that would, that would be rather attractive, I think. But... <laughs> We'll have to see if they do that. And then, of course, we got to see what happens in the election. Boy, hang on to your seats, folks. So that's what we've got for you today. I hope you can find something profitable to get into. 